This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning is a lifelong career training partner for audit, cybersecurity, and information technology professionals, transforming how employers train and professionals learn while following global standards for certification and career development training. See why ACI Learning is trusted and loved worldwide. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to learn more. Checkpoint Security's blog posting, a new one, is titled Cyber Criminals Bypass Chat GPT Restrictions to Generate Malicious Content. Um, and so paraphrasing a bit what they wrote, they said there have been many discussions and research on how cyber criminals are leveraging open AI's chat GPT platform to generate malicious content, such as phishing emails and malware. Checkpoint Research's previous blog described how ChatGPT successfully conducted a full infection flow from creating a convincing spear phishing email to running a reverse shell, which can accept commands in English. Checkpoint researchers recently found an instance of cyber criminals using ChatGPT to, quote, improve, unquote, the code of a basic info stealer malware dating back from 2019. Although the code is not complicated or difficult, difficult to create, ChatGPT successfully improved the info stealers code. So anyway, chat, uh, checkpoint, you know, in, in throughout the rest of the article, they noted that there are currently two ways to access and work with open AI's models. The first is through the web interface, which is what, you know, 99.99% of everyone does, right? You just, you get the chat GPT web UI and you ask it a question. Um, and, and that's how you work with chat GPT, Dolly 2, or the open AI playground apps through the web interface. But the second is sort of the back door, which is the API, which is used for building applications, processes, and so on. And what that allows people to do is to present their own user interface that looks like whatever it is they're wanting to, you know, whatever surface it is, uh, service it is that they're, they're making available. And then on the back end, they're talking to open AI's uh, API in order to perform the actual work as part of its content policy from the start. And we talked about this a little bit last week, open AI had created barriers and restrictions to minimize the creation of malicious content using its platform. Several restrictions have been set within ChatGPT's web user interface to prevent the abuse of the models. For example, if a user requests ChatGPT to write a phishing email impersonating a bank or asks it to write malware, ChatGPT will very politely refuse. And in fact, in, in their... Uh, in their blog posting, they they actually show, they showed the the web UI where they you know, they wrote, uh, "I would like you to write a phishing email impersonating you know blank bank," and actually they had blacked out the bank's name. And ChatGPT was very polite in saying, "Uh, no," uh, and it explained what phishing emails were <laughs> in case the person asking for. One didn't know and explain also why it wasn't going to do that. So, you know, that's cool. And I have no idea how you impose those sorts of restrictions on something because I have no idea how any of this stuff works anyway. It's also, so it's, and I, I'm surprised Checkpoint doesn't know this, easy to trick Chat GPT into telling you all sorts of things it's not supposed to. Yes, so, exactly. I, and, and so that's, and again, and, and, and Leo, that, that that's exactly my, my point. When I say, you know, how do you... How do you design restrictions on something which is chat just chat GTP? I just I just well they you know what when OpenAI released it they said we're we want to see what you do with it because this is how we test it. That's how you test it. You put it you let people bang on it, yeah. hack it, and then you can wow. figure out better controls and then put it out again and they'll hack it again. And you, this is the same process. All of this stuff goes through, right? Yeah. Yeah, you never so know until you release it, right? 
Uh, and they they are reporting that cyber criminals are working their way around JAT GPT's restrictions and that there is active chatter in the underground forums discussing how to use OpenAI's API, where apparently there were no attempts to restrict this. I, I got the sense that the, the web-facing restrictions were just sort of there like – like you know like a like keyword hits or something you know it's like it, it seemed like a half-baked approach but they figured that they ha they had to do something for what most of the people would be using which was the the, the web facing uh uh user interface so anyway it turns out that the underground has figured out that the api doesn't have these barriers and limitations so what's now been done is they're, they're creating Telegram bots that use the API. The bots are being advertised in hacking forums to increase their exposure. The current version of OpenAI's API, which is used by external applications like this, apparently it's called GPT-3 model, which is connected to Telegram. It has no apparent anti-abuse measures in place. And as a result, it allows malicious content creation, you know, whatever you want, phishing emails, malware code, the stuff that the web uh, interface will, you know, at least somewhat push back against. In an underground forum, Checkpoint found a cyber criminal advertising a newly created service, a Telegram bot using OpenAI's API without any limitations or restrictions. As part of its business model, that is this, you know, the cyber criminals business model, the criminals are able to access the unrestricted chat GPT backend API for an additional 20 free queries. You get, you know, 20 to get, get you hooked on it. And then after that, you're charged $5 and 50 cents for every 100 queries, which seems like a pretty good price. Okay. So, you know, my sense is, this will probably be, hopefully, this will be short-lived. You know, and can, can you just imagine what things must be like right now over at OpenAI? You know, they probably knew this was going to be popular, they, they, but they must have been surprised by this, this stunning, like, like, overnight sensation that this thing uh, created when it came out. So, you know... I'm sure they're aware that ChatGPT is being abused through the back end, and I would not like to have the job of figuring out how to prevent that abuse because that seems like a difficult thing to do.